Hey Pisces, welcome to your August 2020 general reading. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. If you don't know your moon and rising, you can Google that. All you need is your birthday and the time that you were born. And it's important to know your moon and rising because um, this will help you give you, the, give you the full picture for August. So I would suggest you watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign videos. This way you get all of the messages. And also in case the messages here don't resonate, they may resonate better in your moon and rising sign, okay? All right, Pisces. Also, if you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down below in the comments section. Represent for Pisces gang. And let's get right into it. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of August 2020. What is the energy of Pisces? What is Pisces' energy in August? Okay, you have the Page of Wands here. Setting off on a new journey. Setting off in a new direction. Fire Sign energy here as well. Two more cards, please. Pisces. Oh yeah, definitely setting off in some sort of adventure. Your ships are coming in, Pisces. Ooh, could be in the form of money. Could be in the form of an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Something you've been waiting for. You've been waiting to hear uh, back on something. Okay, this could be a job opportunity. This could be waiting to hear back on something that involves money. Waiting to hear from a person that you haven't heard from in a while. But you're definitely going to have something come your way. You have energy coming your way, whether that's a person, like I said, or opportunities, more opportunities coming your way. But there will be news. And you're expecting it. This is something that I don't think is going to blindside you. You're expecting someone or something to come in in the month of august and that's happening that's going to be happening here in the physical form and manifesting itself for you in august again i feel like whatever this opportunity is for most of you it's an opportunity to either get a promotion get a job so if you've been you know struggling trying to find work or um trying to better yourself you know um in your career or your financial stability you're going to see something come in for you um, news or otherwise that is going to help you achieve that pisces tell me more about the energy coming towards pisces external energy what is the external energy that's coming toward pisces in the month of august let's do that again because it's like five cards here tell me about the external energy coming toward Pisces in the month of August you have the four of swords definitely recovery whatever you lost you will be recovering it three of swords okay and the five of cups so Pisces, you guys get this card very often, okay? It looks like to me you're trying to recover from some sort of emotional mourning, loss, heartbreak, disappointment, okay? This energy is coming your way. I feel like the money's looking really good for you, but there's something you're very sad and mourning over. But you're trying to recover from it. I feel like you're trying to rest your mind. You're trying not to think about it too much. It also helps that you have good news coming your way. You could be hearing news from a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be news that this person wants to end things or vice versa but i do see a lot of like sadness and mourning coming in your direction what's the outcome of this what's the outcome of this i don't want this to be a a negative reading pisces what is the outcome of this okay too much what is the outcome 
of this energy, please. Another page card, page of pentacles. Again, a lot of news is coming your way. A lot of information is coming your way, Pisces. Yeah, that's just one card. Okay, too many cards. Tell me more about the outcome. The magician, nice, okay. So there is manifestation happening here, okay? More news is coming your way in the outcome, or you're being very optimistic. I feel like whatever sadness that was coming your way, whatever you were mourning or sad over, you're going to find a way to, to turn that around in the month of August. You're gonna you're not gonna let this bring you down because I feel like there's a lot of other good things happening for you in August. That whatever the sadness is that you're dealing with or is that coming your way, you're gonna try to find a way to manifest more positivity into your life or to take control of it and not let your emotions take control of you, but vice versa, you're gonna take control of it and you're gonna try to manifest something with the opportunity that you've been given. One last card, please, for Pisces. Ten of Swords. So whatever is happening here, it is a painful ending. Okay? But again, this is a chance for you to start over. Okay? This is an opportunity for you to begin a new journey and to rebuild your life. Because I do see some sort of painful ending is happening here. But this is not something you won't be able to recover from, Pisces. Let's use the Oracle of the Mermaids deck here to get some messages here from Universe. To help give you some guidance during this time. Universe, what messages do you have for Pisces in the month of August? That will help give them some guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? <laughs> As I say guidance, you have guide here. Let's move all of these over. It says a guide, mentor, or a trustworthy ally. There's definitely, I feel like there's definitely somebody here who is helping you, okay? There's some sadness that you're trying to overcome Pisces, but you have someone here who's very powerful, okay? This person is a very powerful ally, a very trusted friend, okay? This person could very much be an uh, earth sign individual, or there's someone who are, who's going to help you move forward or get on your feet. This person honestly may even be telling you some sort of information that is going to make you sad, but it's also going to allow you to move forward and to move on and to manifest better things and more abundance into your life. One more card, please, for Pisces. Messages for Pisces to help guide them in the month of August. You have Atlantis. Rapid development, excellence, and success. You see? So as I was saying before, whatever it is that you are sad or heartbroken over, a heartbroken over or mourning the loss, you're going to be able to quickly regain and achieve what it is that you want here because you're going to have a lot of power, power here to manifest in the month of August and manifesting physical 3D success here. Bottom of your deck is receptivity. It says, allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to give. So allow yourself to receive this gift that's coming your way. Look at it very optimistically, because I like to look at this card here, the page of, of pentacles, as someone who's very optimistic. They don't have much, but they know that they have the ability to take that seed, that, that one pentacle, and make it grow into much, much more. And they have the potential to do so. So I see a lot of growth happening, especially towards the end of the month. You're going to see that very quickly, you're going to be able to regain a lot that you've lost 
and turn the situation around, turn a, a what seems to be a negative situation into a positive situation. Some things were meant to end here, but that's only to help you unlock this power of manifestation that you weren't able to do before. All right, Pisces. So I really hope that this reading is able to give you some clarity. If you would like to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below. It's justreadstarot.com. Also, if you want to submit a question for the monthly mini reads, you can join my Patreon. That link is also down below. All right, Pisces, I love you. Bye.